All right, check it out. We gotta get this this pulley off, and I don't have a gear puller or a prop puller or whatever you call it, a puller. I asked everyone around here, at least everyone I know around here, no one has a puller. Bo thought he had one on the boat and went over there this morning and he didn't. They do some at the store up here, but I don't wanna buy one if I only need it one time. And I have one back in Florida at home. So, plus it's Sunday and the store is closed. So I'm just gonna see if we can use this setup and some Dyneema and do it ourselves. Why not? Kind of be a miracle if this works on the first shot. Give it a go. It's not working. Let me redo this real quick. All right, I said Dyneem up in a slightly different way. Let's see if it works this time. Ah, mother. All right, it's starting to get tight, so I'm gonna put some glasses on so I don't get like a billion comments about not wearing safety glasses. It's getting really tight, but I think it's just the Dyneema get, getting caught in the threads here. I might have to do something else. Third time's the charm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. That was, that was all Luke's idea. Say hi, Luke. <laughs> no, not mine. <laughs> oh, man. I would have been sitting here hours, like, tying Dyneema around this stupid thing. Yeah, man. That, that was, like, a lot of weight in that, eh? If you look down there, this is, a, this is bigger. Yeah, it's sticking out, so back off and uh, you might need to straighten it all up and pull it square again yeah it seems loose oh you know what it is man you got that nut still on there oh, right on the shaft yeah <laughs> good call Woo. that's our friend Luke came over to check out what's going on and he knows what he's doing with this mechanical stuff so he helped me ah Get it off. Thanks, Luke. I just took this piece off. I don't know what it's called, but it's off.
Check this out, I got the piston out. All right, quick update on the engine. I have it almost all the way apart. There's literally one more bolt holding it together. And it's that bolt right there. It's 36 millimeters. And it's this big long shaft. It's the crankshaft sticking out of it. First off, I don't have a 36 millimeter socket. Second off, I don't have a socket that deep. And then third off, I can't use like a box wrench or anything like that because these, I think they're called the governor weights or something like that. They're in the way. I can't, I can't get on there. We're going to have to make a tool. And I don't have welding gear on this boat. But what I did was I went to the store. And this is part of the reason I'm doing this rebuild in St. Martin because they have all these resources here. So I went to the store and I got a 36 millimeter socket. It's actually the same as inch and 716. But I got a 36 millimeter socket and I'm gonna cut it with the cutting wheel here, right on this mark, and then hopefully uh, either my friend Luke, who's a welder here, or someone at the, the welding shop over there will be able to weld on a tube for me in between the, the, the front and the back of this socket, and then that'll allow me to get this stupid bolt out. Last bolt, and I need a special tool. It even says in the manual, special tool. <sighs> All right, here we go. Let's go see if someone can weld a pipe in there. All right, you guys, let me just give you a little bit of an update of what's going on in this engine rebuild. First off, it is a freaking disaster in here because I've just been focusing on this and Sierra's not here to help. You guys may be wondering where Sierra is and Sierra just took this opportunity while I was rebuilding the engine to fly home and visit her family in Florida. Well, she's doing other stuff. She's making these videos right now. So she's doing an awesome job doing that. And hopefully we can reunite in just a few days. Yeah, so if you guys don't follow along consistently, you probably don't know. But this video is a little bit delayed from real time. And Sierra and I are separated at the moment because she can't get back into St. Martin because of the stupid coronavirus thing and all the travel bans. So anyway, hopefully I can get this rebuilt and meet her in St. Thomas um, in just a few days. We'll see. Here's what's going on. Basically, it's almost all the way apart. We have one bolt left right here. That one right there. And I need a special tool because there's a long shaft and there's ob obstructions in the way from using a box wrench. And I bought this socket at the hardware store and then I cut it in half and my good friend Luke welded this piece on the middle and made it a huge extension. And yeah, we'll go over that whole thing and I'll be able to take that nut off. These, these things I just gotta fold out of the way, but I'll do that in a second. So basically that's the last big step of disassembly and then this whole thing will come out, I think, and come apart. And then from there, I'm just gonna clean everything up really, really good and start painting and then reassemble from there. So. Yeah, hopefully this goes smooth. Wish me luck, here we go. Is the crankshaft. 
All right, I said that was the last bolt in there, but there's a couple bolts on here I gotta take apart, but they look minor, so shouldn't be too big of a deal. So right now I'm just tapping out the cylinder sleeves and I got this piece of scrap metal, this piece of uh, scrap aluminum that matches the perfect ID of the cylinder sleeve. So theoretically I could just place this on it and use this to tap it out, at least partially, and then pull the sleeve out. However, I gotta tap it out from this direction and this doesn't fit down there in this direction. So there goes that idea. So I'm just using a screwdriver to tap it out from this direction and it's working. I'm just being really, really careful not to scratch the walls of the block. You guys just want to give you an update. First off, this place is just a disaster. <laughs> it's incredible, like, how messy it gets and where all the time goes because I'm working on the engine as much as I can. That's going slow, and then all of a sudden I need a part, and then I have to make dinner or a meal, and then I gotta clean up. Gotta take Jetty for a walk, a long walk twice a day, and then maybe hit the grocery store. So the time just goes out the window and then I don't even really get to clean up. So this place is just a disaster. Look at it out here. Last night when you guys went to bed, I cleaned all the parts really, really good. And today I painted them. Uh, I taped, taped them all off and put um, you know, some Rust-Oleum high temp primer on and then some Yanmar paint. Um, it came out really good. We have everything pretty much disassembled except for this right here, the crankshaft. The only thing that I think that you can replace in here is a bearing inside of this thing. I think it's called the intermediate bearing or something like that. But there is like absolutely no play in that at all. And it seems like when I put that back together, I have to like really be careful with the torques. And I'm supposed to use like a, a flexi. I don't know what it's called something just to get the torques and the pressure and everything very exact it's fine I feel no play in it whatsoever I'm not messing with that so what we're doing right now is going to install this bearing right here it's just a metal bearing gonna try to tap that in real nice and gentle and make sure we don't mess it up because that would just screw us so bad if I mess that up um, so be really careful with that and then we'll do some oil seals, uh, these oil seals here. And uh, and then that should be it. And the sleeves are out. I think I should do that already, the old sleeves. So then I think we'll put the new sleeves in the block. They're in the freezer right now because I've read that's a recommendation. A bunch of people say to put them in the freezer so that uh, they shrink and then you can pop them in nice and easy in the cylinder or in the block, whatever you want to call it and then they'll expand and just fit nice and snug. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. And hopefully we can get some, most of that banged out tonight. And then uh, I knock on wood, it's all downhill from here, I think. I just gotta be real careful as I put stuff together, um, make sure everything's really nice and clean. I gotta clean all the surfaces for the gaskets and then make sure I don't have any leftover parts. So honestly, it's, I mean, everything takes longer than usual. I bet Sierra, it would take me one week from the moment that I started taking the engine apart to the moment it's finished. And it's possible. I think I could win. I said seven days. She said eight. So I can win. Hopefully I can win. It's day four or five right now. I think it's day four. Tomorrow will be day five, six, seven. No, I think today's day five. But yeah, it's just crazy. Like I don't get to work on the engine all day long. Like I said, I have to take care of all this other stuff around the boat. Just that adds up to a lot of time. So um, I still get to work on the engine a good chunk of the day, but I think we're gonna do it seven days. All right, here we go.
right, we're putting things back together here. Woo! I'm excited. Hope everything goes smooth. I'm not supposed to hit stuff with a metal hammer, but I'm doing it super, super gentle. So easy. And I know I should be using a wooden or plastic hammer for a lot of this stuff, and I was using a rubber mallet for some of the other stuff, and that's all I have. Stores are closed because of the coronavirus, so deal with it. We have to get the new pistons in the new sleeves, liners. We gotta be able to clamp the piston rings tight so that they slide into the new cylinder. So I'm using an old cylinder. Um, I'm gonna try, I cut, I cut it down so we can hopefully pry it open a little more and then fit this in. And then I'll clamp it down with some hose clamps and then I'll be able to just sit it on top of the block and just tap down the new Cylinders, pistons. Uh, I'm getting tired. There's a special tool you can use to do this, but I don't have it, and I'm not going to buy it if I can just do this. Clean out real good first, and then I'm going to use some sort of wedge to hold it open, and then I'll just, it seems like it's clamping itself down, so might not even need hose clamps. Maybe. We'll see. I got the new new piston in the old sleeve, and it looks like it's snugging down on it pretty good. I don't even know if I'm gonna need any clamps on it. I don't think I will. Just cleaning this out one last time real good, and then we'll lube it up with some oil, and then, uh, yeah, press it in. Use the back of the rubber mallet, the wooden part, to kind of put it in. Here we go. Moment of truth. I'm so scared. I'm putting a hose clamp on. I can't risk it. If I break a ring, I'll be screwed. <laughs> one down, one to go. We're just going to connect it on the bottom so I don't mess anything up while I do the other one. So excited! This is the bottom piece of the rod, the piston rod.
touches down on the crankshaft and then this is the bottom clamp of that piston rod uh, that clamps it together and then there's this metal bearing here that um, that we're replacing. I replaced on the other one already. Comes out pretty easy. So here we're just gonna uh, I've been cleaning all the parts with brake cleaner, making sure they're super nice and clean, and then get some oil on everything, and, and I'll replace the, uh, yeah, the bearing surface, so everything should be nice and smooth and tight, and, oh man, so excited. Get the new surface on here. They just kind of press right in, pretty easy. There's a little groove that lines them up easily. Perfect. Make sure they face the right direction when I put them in. So that's that way, numbers on the exhaust side. Make sure the bolts have some grease on them. Oil, not grease, just engine oil, motor oil. And then we'll, uh, we'll torque everything up to the correct spec. Just get up snug first. And then we throw this sucker, the ratchet and socket on the torque wrench. And the torque for these guys are, got my manual right here, 18.1 foot-pounds. There we go. Alright, we'll do the other one super quick. Oh, this is going to be like a brand new engine. Wow. It's 2 a.m. Oh my god. I'm so tired. I just cl finished cleaning everything up. I got a lot done. I got the engine almost put back together besides the head and then like the, uh, the, the exhaust manifold and stuff like that. But all the, um, <laughs> I can't even think, the flywheel and the bell housing and the whole front of the engine and the oil pan all put back together which is awesome <sighs> tomorrow I could finish tomorrow at least putting everything back together and get ready to put it back in into the engine compartment if I do that I'll win the bet with Sierra Sierra said eight days I said seven tomorrow's the seventh day if I finish it by the end of the day as long as it runs I win I don't have to run it tomorrow I just gotta finish everything get it ready to put in and then I can run it the next day Oh, I'm so tired. I might have to take down our hobo tarp tent that I set up for this. It's so windy. It's so loud. But uh, I got to lift the dinghy real quick and then go to bed. I'm so tired. See you guys tomorrow.